This is Bonnie Minku of Thrive with ADD, starting off the new year of 2015. I want to show you a quick and intuitive way to be able to lay out and see the entire year at a glance. If you don't have a job or business that requires planning, you may be wondering why bother. For one thing, seeing your year lets you determine when you can add in new projects without getting overcommitted. Or you might be considering taking classes or studying for certification exams. This would allow you to see how that would fit into your schedule. You might also decide when to book a vacation or personal trip. The importance of this struck home for me as I realized that another year went by and I still didn't take that weekend road trip to visit the Hudson River Valley. Every year I promise myself and then never seem to find the time. If I plot out the major projects that I know I'll be doing in advance, I could simply make reservations for a bed and breakfast on a weekend that works for me. Then I could relax knowing that I have this nice little trip in my schedule. Now you may be cringing at the thought of a massive amount of planning. Forget about it. I'm going to show you this really simple way of looking at your year. You start with a 12 box grid that shows you each month with blank squares to fill in. You want to be able to see the whole year at a glance. You can find blank calendar templates online or simply create your own. Or you can do this by hand on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be for a whole year either. You can do it for a quarter or for six months. Now think about each box as a month with four weeks. So within each box, you can imagine the weeks stacked up with the first week of the month on top. You won't actually have these lines, but just visualize them. So an event that takes place in the third week of the month would go three quarters of the way down. For example, a sales meeting on January 21st would go in the week three position in the January box. Now start filling in the events and dates that you already know. If you don't know exact dates, just fill in approximately when something will take place. Use color to differentiate different types of events so you can quickly see what's going on. Using the color in a logical way helps the at-a-glance benefit of this calendar. In this example, all sales meetings are in red. The fourth quarter sales meeting will be sometime in the last part of April. Now go a step further. In addition to indicating major events, you can add activities related to those events that you'll be spending time on. If there's a sales meeting the end of April, and you know it requires at least two weeks in preparation, you can indicate the prep time on the calendar. You might use the same color as the event, but give it less emphasis. You can use an arrow to indicate that the preparation time will take place right up until the sales meeting. And again, since it's a sales meeting, the corresponding arrow is red. This is what the calendar might look like using the system of designated colors for different types of activities. Now we can see the value of this tool. This shows us right away which months are busiest. January will be taken up with the sales meeting and spring planning must follow it immediately. So there's no time to add more work in January. We can also see where in the year there might be extra time. September has some open weeks after the fall sales promotion kickoff. That's where you could slide in a vacation. Just because you're using this for work, don't forget to add in important personal events that are tied to a specific date. Grandma's 90th birthday celebration will have the entire family gathering in Florida, which means you'll need to block out three vacation days in May. But May is strategic planning time at work, and your job requirements won't change just because you have to be gone. So you may have to do some personal strategic planning to figure out how to juggle the time. That probably means working the weekend before you leave. Put it on the calendar. That's how easy it is. Of course, this very broad-stroked calendar doesn't substitute for more detailed planning day to day, but it could save you a great deal of angst over fear of overbooking or chaos of scrambling to get everything done at the last minute. And for several of my coaching clients with their own businesses, Simply laying out the whole big picture at a glance was a godsend for providing clarity. 
The most powerful solutions don't have to be complicated. Watch for more at-a-glance strategies coming up soon from thrivewithadd.com.